Here's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good morning, I'm Sierra Searcy. Here's a look at the top stories we're following for you today. Starting today, the city of Flushing promising a quicker response time to emergencies. Paramedics and EMTs with the fire department will respond to a medical scene and provide immediate treatment until an ambulance arrives if one is needed. The city does expect to cut response times from 20 minutes to 4. Bentley High School's bond issue on the ballot next month is an $8.4 million proposal to pay for improvements to the schools in the district. There will be an informational meeting, well, two, one at 11 this morning and one at 7 this evening. Both will be in the social media center. Saginaw celebrating Indigenous Peoples Day with a ceremony at Ojibwe Island. The city will unveil a new Native American land acknowledgement marker honoring inhabitants who first populated the region. It starts at 1030. The holiday has become an alternative to Columbus Day. A check in with Matthew for a look at our forecast. Thank you, Sarah. For our Monday, still tracking some cooler and more brisk conditions here in mid Michigan. Westerly wind that'll continue for us today, uh, keeping our temperatures a little bit cooler. Actual highs today only get up to around 52. Our northern counties likely staying in the 40s, but then once the wind is factored in, wind chills actually may stay in the 40s through the entire afternoon as well. We are expecting a westerly wind that will gust to around 30 miles per hour as we go through today. So a similar wind to the weekend. For this afternoon and evening, a few showers will start to make their way in from the north. It does turn more isolated tonight and then more scattered showers again tomorrow afternoon. We are expecting that better chance of showers though for more of mid Michigan on our Tuesday and then a slightly more significant rain that's expected towards the end of this week around Friday and Saturday. We'll need to keep an eye on this low pressure system, but current projections are bringing a decent amount of rainfall into mid Michigan as the low passes right by us. We're talking the potential of an inch and a half to even two inches of rainfall by that time frame on Saturday or uh, Friday and Saturday. So again, all something that we need to watch for the end of this week, where exactly that low goes, is really going to dictate how much rain we actually see here in mid Michigan. First alert 70 forecast, though, does show we hold on to the 50s all week. Only a high of 50 tomorrow, then really middle 50s for the rest of the week and the upcoming weekends. So the cooler fall weather that's here to stay. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.